I'm really hungry. Can we quickly cook something? We can, but the mud oven that grandma had is broken and we don't have the time to make a mud oven right now. Then what shall we do? Mummy, how can we cook without an oven? I know the answer. But since coming here was your idea, I want both of you to think hard and see if you can find a solution. I know, we can make our own temporary chulha. But how? I will make a circular wall of rocks to serve as the structure of the oven. Sanya, can you recall the structure of the mud oven? How was it made? I know, semicircular. Do you know why is it made semicircular? I remember it now. Because for anything to burn at a continuous speed, it needs a steady supply of air. That is why a mud oven is made in a semicircular structure. Friends, what do we call the process of burning a fuel with the support of air? Correct! Combustion! Now we need some fuel. Yes, Kabir. Could you collect some twigs and some small branches from the orchard? We could light them and make the chulha. But will the twigs light with the matchstick? Doesn't it have a high ignition temperature? That is a good question. What can we use to lighten them? Friends, can you help us name some fuels that have low ignition temperature than wood? Meaning, they catch fire faster than wood. Did you say kerosene? But we don't have that. Dried cow dung is useful too. We don't have that too. Dried leaves. Yes, we could collect dried leaves and use them to fire the twigs and branches. Good idea, Sanya. Dried leaves catch fire much more easily than twigs. I will collect them too. Wait, don't go as yet. Remember when grandma used to cook on the oven, it would give out smoke. Friends, as we know, wood creates smoke when going through combustion process. Can you tell what effects do the following fuels have on combustion? Yes, I remember. The smoke would make her cough and her eyes watery. What can we do to avoid that? Mummy, now you have to help us. We have solved most of the puzzle. We can't understand how to avoid the smoke while cooking. Please help us. Okay, I will help you Kabir. Remember during our travel to the village, you were quite surprised to see something? I do remember mummy. The tall chimneys. These chimneys were letting out poisonous smoke from the factories into the sky. Exactly. We can make our own chimney like we made our own oven. All we need is a round pipe like hollow thing. It should be made of iron so that it doesn't catch fire. Friends, you got it right. Since iron has a high ignition temperature, that is why we can safely use it in the chulha without causing any harm. Great idea! Please have a look. We have successfully made a temporary oven. The semicircle wall made of rocks makes the structure of the oven. The twigs and branches acts as fuel. 
the dry leaves which easily burn due to low ignition temperature act as fuel to burn the wood then we have added an old iron pipe on one side to act as a chimney that will allow the smoke to go away isn't this great i am very proud of you both you have done an excellent job looks like you both are learning a lot in your science class now let's prepare some delicious khichdi and we will all enjoy a good dinner we learned in this lesson the process of burning fuel to produce heat or light is called combustion we use a variety of fuels like kerosene wood coal lpg in our everyday lives each of these fuels has a different ignition temperature low ignition temperature means that they heat very quickly like lpg high ignition temperature means they take more heat or help of other fuels to heat like wood here we used dry leaves to help the wood burn faster the combustion process of fuels can cause them to let out smoke light smell and sound as a residue some of these can be bad for our health to save ourselves from the harmful gases we can make outlets for the gases to be released in this scenario we made a chimney to save ourselves from the smoke what shall we do about light now oh yes it is 7 o'clock and it's dark outside already we need to light a lamp but how look at this hurricane lamp it needs kerosene and a good wick to light we don't have any of those things that's true what can we do now Mummy, do we have candles with us? Yes, I had packed two candles in the bag. You can use them. This is great. Do I have a question? It is windy here. Won't the strong wind keep putting out the candles flame? Isn't it interesting to know that the same air which helps the fire burn steadily can also put fire out when blows strong and fast let us use the glass cover of the hurricane lamp to protect the flame from the wind right that way the candle will last longer than it would have otherwise we have successfully made out candle lamp the candle will keep lighting us throughout the night I still have some questions. More questions. Yes. Like why does the flame of the hurricane lamp last longer than that of an average candle? The amount of kerosene used in the lamp is not a lot. Good observation, Sanya. children for this you need to know about the ideal fuel and fuel efficiency can you open page 72 in your books and see the table 6.6 and 6.7 what does it tell us Now you would know that the amount of heat energy produced on complete combustion of 1 kg of fuel is called its calorific value. 
Do you remember how we use so many twigs and leaves to flame the mud oven? Whereas when we cook on the gas at our home, the amount of LPG used is much less. That means LPG's calorific value is much more than that of the twigs and leaves. Hydrogen fuel Biogas fuel LPG fuel CNG fuel Now I understand. I have one last question. Did you notice that the candle flame was mostly yellow and red while the flame produced through the LPG is mostly blue. Why is that? Friends, can you tell Sanya about the many varieties of colors that a flame can have? Yes, you are right. Yellow, orange, red, blue and many others. Yes, the color of the fuel depends on the kind of fuel being combusted. If the fuel is clean, it will emit less carbon and give a blue colored flame. I hope you got all your answers. We learned in this lesson that a flame from a fuel source can keep burning only when there is a steady source of air. Each fuel emits different amounts of carbon dioxide during the combustion process. If a fuel gives out blue flame, then it means it emits very less amount of carbon dioxide than a fuel that gives out orange or red flame. Incomplete combustion of fuels can cause them to produce carbon monoxide causing suffocation and asphyxiation. We should be careful while burning or using fuels.